Goosebumps is such a pop culture phenomenon that's been referenced in other TV shows, like Regular Show. Every year, Regular Show would have a special Halloween episode called Terror Tales of the Park. In the fifth edition, Mordecai and Rigby, the main characters of the show, are slacking off like normal. Their boss, Benson, is angry, so he purchases a ventriloquist dummy called Mr. Boss Man to help motivate his employees. Hey! Hey, get back to work! Get back to work right now! One look at Mr. Boss Man, and it's clear that he's inspired by Slappy the Dummy, specifically the Goosebumps TV show version. Just like Slappy, Mr. Boss Man comes to life and starts terrorizing Benson, Mordecai, and Rigby. He even makes jokes like Slappy. Benson, me up! Ultimately though, Mr. Boss Man is defeated when he gets his head chopped off. Now this reference is kind of funny. In 2000, a show called The Zack Files premiered. The series followed a kid named Zack who had all kinds of supernatural things happen to him. In one episode, Zack forgets to return a book that he borrowed. The book just so happens to be Alice in Wonderland and the characters from the story put Zack on trial. Zack needs to prove that he cared about the book, but his opening statement doesn't exactly do a good job. Um, Alice in Wonderland, bye. By R.L. Stein. Who? 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 No, that was Goosebumps. Even The Simpsons have referenced Goosebumps. In the episode The Book Job, Homer, Bart, and Lisa, along with several other characters, team up to write their own best-selling children's book. Lisa pretends to be the author and has to share her fake, emotional backstory on how she became a writer. Lisa's origin story is so powerful that the book executive says this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is R.L. Stein here? Cause you just gave me goosebumps. <laughs> Go on boss. Honestly, thinking about it, Goosebumps and Scooby-Doo kind of go hand in hand. Both primarily have bizarre and flashy monsters as their antagonists, so it kind of seems fitting that a Goosebumps reference would be found in Scooby-Doo. In the episode Sorcerer Snack Scare from the Be Cool Scooby-Doo series, the game discovers that a snack company's mascot has been appearing at their factory and scaring employees. During their investigation, the team finds a puppet workshop, and inside there's one particular doll that bears a striking resemblance to Slappy. Now of course, this could just be a coincidence, but come on, don't you instantly think of Slappy when looking at this? Another show that was kinda like Goosebumps was Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction. It was an anthology show like the Goosebumps TV series, with each episode featuring several small stories. The gimmick of Beyond Belief was that viewers had to guess which stories were based on real life events and which were all fiction. One story is about a boy and the bond he has with his dog, Weezer. During the episode, there's a scene where the kid is reading to Weezer and take a listen and see if the story sounds familiar. And as the pumpkin heads turn their fiery ragged grins on us, Walker and I opened our mouths and screamed in terror. That's right, the kid is reading from Goosebumps 48, Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns, the last paragraph on page 67 to be exact. Glad to know that the dog is hearing some good literature. Now this next show doesn't just make one little Goosebumps reference, it actually dedicates an entire episode to Arl Stein's horror series. In 1996, the PBS show Arthur aired an episode called The Scare Your Pants Off Club. In it, Arthur and the other kids are hooked on a series of books called the Scare Your Pants Off Club. However, a group called Paws, Parents Against Weird Stories, bans the books from the library because they believe they are bad for kids. Ultimately, the parents behind the ban never actually read the stories, and the episode ends with them realizing the error of their ways. This episode is based on the controversy Goosebumps had in the 90s when some parents were trying to get Goosebumps banned. Of course, the Scare Your Pants Off Club is based on Goosebumps, but the episode does have some more direct references. One of the books is called Curse of the Mummy's Breath, like the reference to Curse of the Mummy and Vampire Breath. Also, the author of the Scare Your Pants Off Club uses the pen name E.A. Dupoe, similar to R.L. Stein. If you are curious about the controversies and backlash Goosebumps faced in the 90s, I have a documentary talking about the history of the franchise. Hit the video on screen to give it a watch.